day when many human lives are being lost to the diseases that are considered incurable. Stem cells research has brought new hopes of saving such lives. Global Institute of Stem Cell Therapy and Research, GeoStar, headquartered in San Diego, California, USA, was formed with a vision to provide stem cell-based treatment to aid those who are suffering from degenerative or genetic diseases around the world. GeoStar is a coalition of esteemed and illustrious scientific minds in the field of genetics and stem cell science. Hi, I'm Diane Marie Collins, and we are visiting today with Dr. Anad. He is the chairman and founder of GeoStar. GeoStar stands for Global Institute of Stem Cell Therapy and Research. We are going to be talking stem cells. Welcome, Dr. Anad. Would you do me a favor and say your complete name? I'm Dr. Anand Sirvastava. And I have heard you called the father of stem cell. You're one of the pioneers of this research and therapy. Tell me a little bit about your background. So I started my journey from India. And I completed my PhD in protein biochemistry and molecular biology and uh, one of the premier institutions of India, that is Banaras Hindu University, that is the heart of the India. And from there, I was invited and awarded by Prime Minister of Japan, and I visited Japan as a visiting scientist in Japan. So, and there I started working on the gene therapy and cloning of the genes. The idea was to develop the gene therapy for those diseases which even today does not have a credible cure or treatment. That's what then led you to stem cell? So when I was doing that gene therapy, I showed first time to the world that yes, you can replace the defective gene for the pancreas and the idea as to how you can develop the gene therapy for the diabetes. So I was in, I'm talking back 99. Okay. Okay, it's long <laughs> back. So I came from Japan and I was presenting Japan to US and presenting that finding here in San Diego where you're sitting today with mm -hmm. me and showing that yes, this pancreatic gene can be changed. So seeing these wonderful findings, uh, several universities of US offered me the position and I finally choose to come to San Diego, such a wonderful, bright, sunny city <laughs> with the extraordinary scientific community. Tell me about the journey from your gene therapy to now stem cell therapy. It's, in fact, it's a very wonderful story. And I was interested in uh, developing the gene therapy because all the genetic diseases, the idea that if you can change these defective genes which causes the genetic diseases with the correct gene, then you can cure the disease basically. But changing the gene and with the correct gene, the incorrect gene, inserting at the right place, you need a lot of infrastructure, a lot of trainings, and very complex uh, way to do, treat a disease. And I was always thinking what to do and how you can cure diseases more easier way. Then the idea came then if you see that wall lizard and if that wall lizard, if you cut the tail of that wall lizard, yes. that tail regenerates automatically. Okay. Then I was thinking how it is possible. It means there is something that regenerates. Then a stem cell idea came in my mind. Then why not we can isolate or see how human stem cell behaves, or mammalian stem cell behaves. So that is the idea, and because this whole stem cell makes the body, so body is made of the stem cell, so stem cell is the master cell of the body. Correct. So once it is master cell of the body and it makes whole body, it means it is going to make each and every single organs. So if it is making each and every single organs, it means if some organ is damaged or defective, 
these stem cells can treat those organ or repair those those organ in practical and experimental way so this idea came and i started working on this stem cell so this is all the story jumping in this stem cell and i love the fact that when you came here this sounds to me like an incredible opportunity because what you've told me off camera we're talking about multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's, um, different blood cancers, uh, the autoimmune system, almost anything that we're talking about. Around, what are some of the other things that you're looking at? You see, I will, here I would like to summarize whole medical field. In fact, in just, if you give me one minute or around two minutes, oh, if you, you have get time. The time. <laughs> okay, great. So you see, there are three kinds of disease, I think, at this point. One is the foreign infection. If a human being is getting a disease because of some kind of foreign infection coming to his body. Understand. And he is getting some kind of disease. And what is those foreign infections? In general, bacteria or viruses or some kind of microbes or microorganism. Okay. Like amoeba or malarial, plasmodium, all these things. So you will be surprised to know at this stage what what is the real level of our medical science? If we are getting some bacterial infection, we have extraordinary antibiotics. Correct. Okay. Yes. Almost 95% of the bacteria you can kill today using the antibiotic. So you are cured basically. <laughs> if you are getting some viral infection, which is also a foreign body, like HIV AIDS or several flu, and you see nowadays what is that? very famous uh, uh, viruses going on in the atmosphere. Yeah, the um, uh, swine uh, Ebola, 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 okay. Ebola. So these kind of viruses, we do not have, though it is foreign infection, we do not have any medicine. And now, microorganism also, we have extraordinary uh, medicines. You can kill those microorganisms and human can be cured. So this is the story of the foreign organism. Now, uh, another kind of problem, if you have some kind of uh, accident or broken bone or surgery, excellent. We have extraordinary equipments which can cure you with the surgery. Third kind of disease which is most problematic and dangerous also for the whole human race is the malfunction of your own body. Your that own is body attacking itself. It's a malfunction because of any reason. It is not the foreign infection, okay? It is or not injury. the accident or injury. <laughs> it is just like hair falling. Eyesight is getting weak. Developing lung problem or some kind of asthma. Liver psoriasis, okay? Arthritis, osteoporosis, Alzheimer, Parkinson's, name it. It's just the malfunction of body and you don't know what is the reason, okay? So there are two kind of malfunction of the body. First, diabetes is also a kind of malfunction. malfunction. Yeah. First, when your organ start losing the function, okay? So like aging of the organ also a malfunction right. of the body. Right. So your organ is losing the function. So that is the degeneration of an organ or because of any region, your organ is damaged. So you can use, because a stem cell is making each and every single organ. So these kind of malfunction like diabetes, okay? Beta cell is losing the function. So you can regenerate these cells using the stem cells. And that's what it, the stem cell is also called as regenerative medicine. Because it is, it regenerates. So, all the malfunction of the body, which is under the degeneration, can be treated using a stem cell. Because it regenerates. Because it regenerates. Okay? Fabulous. <laughs> so, so and, and unfortunately, at today's time, all the malfunction of the body, there is no medicine which can really show the treatment or cure or real benefit to the human, but it helps to maintain the lifestyle, like diabetes, okay? You take Correct. every single day insulin. Insulin. Yes. Or Alzheimer, Parkinson's, anything, take the malfunction of the organ or degeneration of to the organ. To slow it down. Just to manage your lifestyle. To manage. But stem cell 
can really make a significant Repair. difference. Yeah. And if I say a little bit more, at, um, I do not want to give that extreme statement, but I can say it is near to cure. Yes. To regenerate. Yeah, to re regenerate. And if it regenerates, then hopefully it does repair. If it repairs, then... Yeah. So this is the wonder of the stem cell. How exciting. And this is the most natural way to treat also, when I say. Because you are using your own body. Because What is, what is the natural way? At this point, if we see, we, we go and take all kind of nutraceuticals. Okay? Nutraceuticals coming from where? The plant product, generally. And we say it is natural because it's coming from plant and we take all those without any problem. But what is the more near to a human? Human own body. Correct. Sure. Okay. Either it is yours or somebody else. But human is more near to human. So a stem cell is coming either from your own body or maybe it's from somebody else's body. A donor. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So this is the most natural way to treat the disease or to develop a therapy for a disease. You, you, you excite me. Was this what started you, or was this the nucleus for you to start Geostar? Uh, yes, when I, I was working on the stem cell up to two, so I started the field of stem cell here in United States of America with few of our extraordinary scientists together. So when up to 2000, to 2006, I showed first times few things like, uh, okay, brain cells can be repaired using the stem cell, blood cells can be uh, generated using stem cells. And then uh, Christopher Reeve, you know that. Yes, our, our Superman, famous actor, very yes, famous. Superman. So he got the spinal, spinal cord injury. Correct. And uh, then he wanted to develop the treatment for the spinal cord. And before that, my paper came, which was published in topmost journal, that is stem cells, showing that damaged brain can be repaired using stem cells. So he thought, can we repair a spinal cord also? So he donated, I think, $30 million to University of California, Irvine, and I joined the group. So we together developed there, that group, the spinal cord injury program using the stem cell. So that was the first ever clinical trial went in humans to treat the spinal cord injury using the stem cell. What was one of the main points to take you from this science, the science of stem cell, to stem cell therapy? In fact, I was, as I told that, I was working on the stem cell in the lab and trying to develop how even stem cell you can culture in the lab because nobody was knowing how to even culture these stem cells in the lab. Create it. Yeah. And then the same time what happened in 2004, so almost four years gone, uh, our beloved president, Regan, died because of Alzheimer's disease. Right. And Nancy Reagan was very sad. And then she thought, oh, was it possible to use stem cell to treat this Alzheimer's disease? Because by the time the news was and these few literatures and uh, publications was telling that stem cell has the potentials to repair several kind of degenerative diseases. And Alzheimer's is one, one of, of the very yeah. prominent degenerative disease. Then she started searching who, who are the people doing the stem this, cells. the science. <laughs> so the press came to San Diego because I was the only person in fact. So they came to us and then I interviewed to the press or television mm -hmm. that what is the possibilities with the stem cell I showed because I generated the neurons using the stem cell in the lab. So I showed them all those findings. So the debate went much ahead. It moved and, it forward. Yes, and then I was a little fortunate, maybe I can say, because the same time, Arnold Schwarzenegger, who wanted to become the governor of California, came to know about these, all these things. Arnold Schwarzenegger, correct. Yeah, and he is very forward thinker. Absolutely. So he 
thought, no, this is really very important to do this. And then he proposed Prop 71. And thanks to people of California, I really say thanks from my heart to the people of California that they accepted this Prop 71. And because of that, we got $3 billion to do the research on the stem cell and develop the therapy using stem cell in the California. And once it happened, of course, Arnold became the governor also. And that's all thanks goes to him. But California became first, first. to adopt the stem cell science at the level of government. Which allowed you to then move into therapy. Yes. Working. Yes, you are right. Helping people. Exactly. It's exciting. How did you become now, as we know, the leader in stem cell therapy? Uh, you know, when I established the Global Institute of Stem Cell Therapy and Research, that is GeoStar, the whole idea was to change this science which is inside the lab to bring to the benefit of the people. So when this idea came in my mind, then I thought, okay, now enough research was done and we went for first clinical trial which was approved by US FDA for the spinal cord injury program through University of California, Irvine. So I thought, why not to go for other disease also which are safe to treat and remember one thing always, that whenever you go for human therapy, we have to make sure that there is no harmful effect to that human. And second, we have to always care that is there something else available, more traditional way to treat that disease before going to an advanced, new. advanced treatment. So, because I started the field in 2000, and the truth that I was also not knowing how to really culture the stem cells in the lab, okay? So I developed these all using my own hand. So it started from there, publishing, publishing all the first reports about the stem cell. So this way we are the leaders, means the GeoStar is the leader in the field of stem cell. And then we started using the autologous stem cell, which is your own stem cell, the patient's own stem cell. So why I'm talking autologous stem cell? Because when some cells is coming from your own body, it is not going to be harmful for your own body. Because we go back is, to that beginning, it's inside you already, you're not hurting anything. Exactly, yeah. you are very right. <laughs> okay, so, and because it is not coming from somebody else, so it is not, possible that it may carry some kind of disease also to you because it is from somebody else's body. So make it very sure that it is very safe. That is the first point. So I made it very safe. No, it has to come from your own body. So it is safe, okay? And then because I develop all the science, so I know how to really in transfuse these cells to your body, how many cells are required, what kind of disease I'm going to target, okay? Yes. So all these things we know very well. And we have extraordinary advisory board of the scientists in the GeoStar. They belong to top institution of the world. So they continuously doing the research. So, While you're doing therapy, because you've been doing therapy yeah. since 2008, 2007? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 2008. So those people, so we are leading the field this way because each and every single day the new research is coming, which is done by our advisory board member or us. So we are helping each other. And this way we are the leader of the field. So you can see last 15 years from 2000 till today, all over the world, including California, like I told $3 billion, this year they approved $10 billion for the stem cell science. All research. Yes, or to develop the therapy now. Right. To really go in the clinic and treat the humans. Just don't do any more research. Of course, research is always important, but now the science is little mature. So fortunately, last six, seven years, 
more than 4,000, I can say, patients. More than 4,000? Yeah. Patients? All, all over the all world. All over the world. Was treated or, or used to do the therapy for these kind of diseases using the autologous stem cell transplant. And the results are very, very, very exciting. At least they can maintain, minimum, they can maintain their lifestyle. The disease progression may stop. And in few cases, the disease reverses. Regen re regenerates, yeah. reverses. Yeah. So is it not a wonderful thing to do? I, <laughs> it makes Geostar a star. <laughs> yeah. It is a wonderful thing. So you can see the lot of brain was used last 15 years to develop this. Billions of the billions of dollars, and thanks for those people who contributed for that, and scientists, clinicians, and the people who think little progressively and f fighting for the challenges each and every single day, feeling the pain of the humans. So that's what we are the Jewish star, and that's what we are leading in the field because we, we do our own research, we develop the therapies, we do hardcore research on the stem cell, and we always take care of the safety of the human beings first. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing. You are such an inspiration. And again, we are here with Dr. Anand of GeoStar, Global Institute of Stem Cell Therapy and Research.